Hi, I'm Ryan Alt. I'm a physicist, and this is how to find the inverse of a function using three methods. Now, here above, I've written three functions, and in order to find the inverse of them, it involves about three steps. So the first step is to write all of your x's as y's. The second step involves solving for y, once you've done this. And the third step involves writing y as y inverse. So for our first case, we can say that x equals 2y, simply by writing the y's as x and the x as y. Now we can solve for y, and we find that y is equal to x over 2. And now step 3, we simply write y is y inverse, which is equal to x over 2. Now for the third one, or the second problem, we can find that writing x is y, x is equal to y squared. In solving for y, we find that it's equal to plus or minus the square root of x. And step three, we find y inverse equals plus or minus the square root of x. And now for the third one, we can do the same thing. We find x is equal to the natural log of y. And we can solve for y by taking the exponent down here, not the exponent, what well, x would be the base. So it's actually log base e. And you raise x to that power. You find that e to the x is equal to y. And writing y is y inverse, we find y inverse equals e to the x. I'm Ryan Alt, and this is how to solve the inverse of a function using three methods. Mm -hmm.